Relations are mathematical expressions or equations that relate some dimensions or parameters in your model to other dimensions or parameters in your model. And relations are one of the most fundamental ways of building design intent into your parts and your assemblies. Before I start creating some relations, I'm going to change the names of my dimensions in order to make my model more user friendly. The way that you change the names of your dimensions is by going to the feature that you're interested in. In this case, I'm going to expand the node for the helical sweep in the model tree. And when I click on the profile section in the mini toolbar, I can choose the edit dimensions command. And here it shows me the dimensions for the profile section. And right now it's showing me them in their numeric form. All your dimensions have two forms, a numeric form and a symbolic form. And the symbolic form is the name of the dimension. If I go to the Tools tab, I can click Switch Dimensions, and that will toggle my dimensions between the numeric and symbolic forms. Now, if I click on a dimension, I'm going to get a tab in the ribbon, and there's a field that I can use to change the name of a dimension. And when I hit the Enter key, changes the name on the computer screen as well. Let me left click a few times. And now I'm going to repeat that process for the sweep section. Select it, edit dimensions, and I'm gonna zoom in over here. And there is a diameter dimension. Right now it's called D5, and I'm going to change its name to DIA. And again, let's get out of the edit mode. So now I've changed the names of my different dimensions and it's time to write some relations. There are a few different ways that you can access the relations dialog box. One way is from the tools tab, there is a relations command. If you're on the model tab, relations is also available from the model intent overflow menu, but I recommend adding this command to your quick access toolbar because it's very convenient. So here I have the relations dialog box. There is a big field in here that you can use for writing your different relations. And you have some common mathematical operators on the left hand side of the screen. You also have a bunch of icons and I'll explain a couple of these over the course of the demo. But before I jump into that, I wanna show you that your parameters are also available from the relations dialog box. And I discuss parameters in another video. For example, let's say I wanna control the number of coils in my spring. Well, I can click the plus sign and let's type in coils. And initially, maybe I wanna have eight coils in the spring. Okay, now for writing my different relations, I'm going to select the different features in the model. And when I click on them, hold on, let me click in the edit field again and then click it. Because this is a helical sweep, it wants to know if I wanna show the dimensions for the profile or the section. I can select both and then click done. And now it's showing me the different dimensions. So what I wanna do is I wanna control the pitch value and when I click on the dimension it's automatically going to paste it in the field over here but before I even start writing the relation I'm going to put in what's called a comment line and any line that starts with a forward slash and an asterisk is a comment and I'm going to just write some text to explain what exactly this relation does control the pitch as a function of the coils parameter. And so D2 is going to be equal to, and I'm just typing the equal sign, and then I could type in length, or if I click length on the computer screen, it's going to put it in there. And I want length divided by coils. And I could type in coils, but there's also an insert parameter icon that allows you to say, hey, let's go and grab coils in there, insert selected, and that just helps prevent you from accidentally making a typo. 
And so if I click OK and then regenerate my model, you'll notice that there are fewer coils because now it's being driven by the coils parameter. If I go to my parameters, let's say I change coils from 8 to 12, click OK, and then I can regenerate again, you'll notice that I have more coils. This first kind of relation that I wrote is called an equality relation. And with the equality relation, it just evaluates the expression on the right-hand side and assigns it to the left-hand side. There are two other different kinds of relations that you can create. And the next kind is a comparison. And the comparison allows you to see if some expression is true or false. And so, for example, let's say I want to make sure that the di diameter of the profile is never going to be lower than a certain value. And so, let me use some spaces. I like putting a lot of spaces in my relations to make them readable. And I'm going to write a comment line. Ensure that the diameter is always greater than 2. And so, when my field is active for editing my expression, let's click on Profile section again. And this time, I'm just going to show the dimensions for the profile. And this is the D0 dimension. Really, what I should do is go back and change the D0 and D2 dimensions in order to make sure that my model is readable. And so I'm going to write that D0 should be greater than or equal to the value of 2. And so let's click OK. And I'm going to switch my dimensions back to their other values. And right now, it has a value of 2. Let's go and try to modify that. And instead of a value of 2, let's change its value to 1.5. When I do that and regenerate, I'm able to change it, but it says, hey, I'm making a, I'm trying to do something that is violating one of my constraints in my model. D0 is supposed to be greater than 2, and it says continue regenerating. Aborting will restore all changes. So if I click yes, it's going to allow me to violate my relation. And I'm going to get a warning in my message area as well, telling me that some of my constraint relations are no longer satisfied. So constraints are the second kind of relation. The third type is going to be an if-then-else relation. And so let's go to my relations dialog box. And if I no longer want this relation to be enforced, I can comment that one out. And then I'll use the verify icon. I'll tell you that all relations have been successfully verified, and I no longer get an error inside of here. Okay, for my next kind of relation, it's going to be of the format if then else. And so I'm going to make it so that if my spring is ever longer than a value of eight, I want it to have a bigger thickness. I don't want it to get too thin. So let's control section diameter as a function of spring length. And I'm going to type if, and let's go and click on the profile section, and I'm going to show the dimensions for everything. If length is greater than 8, then I want, I'm using spaces, I want the diameter to be equal to 0 0.5. And I can write else. What do I want it to do if that condition is not true? I want the diameter to be equal to 0 0.25. And then I'm going to end the if-then-else construct with an end if. 
And again, you can use the verify. Hey, we've been verified. That'll show you if you have any typos, if you did anything incorrectly. And I'll click the OK button. And let's, again, regenerate the model. And you'll notice that my model got much thicker because my length is greater than 8. Let's modify again. And right now the value is 10. Let's change that 10 to a value of 6. And regenerate. By the way, Control G is the keyboard shortcut for regenerate. The diameter got smaller. So that's how you can write relations in your model. One other thing that I want to mention for relations, you do have the ability to, hold on a second, uh, specify units and make them unit sensitive. So for example, if you accidentally are trying to control, say, different length dimensions, and you accidentally use a parameter that has a different set of units like for time or for mass, then it'll give, it will give you an error in that situation. So this relations video sets us up for the video on notebooks for top-down design. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are added. Thank you very much.